thank you for joining um, in studying God's word. Today, I want to talk about something that may sound very simple and yet is so important. And this is about our words and the tongue that speaks these words. Uh, let's look at uh, the passage from James chapter 3, verses 3 to 5. It says, Indeed, we put bits in horses' mouths that they may obey us, and we turn their whole body. Look also at ships, although they are so large and are driven by fierce winds, they are turned by a very small rudder wherever the pilot desires. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasts great things. God's word is revealing to us that you know, there is a small member of our body, the tongue, um, which has incredible power. And we have been given examples of the bits in horses' mouths, which can um, turn their entire body. And then you have a rudder that can turn a large ship, uh, even in the face of a storm or winds. So, you know, we see that a small little thing uh, has incredible power to steer the course of a creature and then uh, and in a huge vessel. Um, and similarly, when we, when we think about the tongue, um, you know, the tongue is helpful in speaking words. These words that come out of our mouth, what the Bible is saying is that these words will direct our lives. Uh, and as we go on to read about the tongue in James chapter 3, uh, he, he explains an evil tongue and he says that an evil tongue uh, will put the, put the body on fire, uh, which is to say that you know, there will be evil consequences for an evil tongue. Now, if we turn this around and talk about a good tongue, you know, a good tongue will be a blessing to the body because good words come through a good tongue. So speaking good words, or in, in other words, for us as believers, good words simply mean words that are aligned to the mind of God, words that are aligned to the will of God. So what we call logos. Logos is the written or the revealed word of God. When we align our words to what the word of God has to say, those are good words. And as we speak those words, you know, we can be assured that they are releasing blessing, they're releasing life uh, to our entire person. And not just our entire person, but everything that is associated with us, everything that uh, we are concerned about, you know, life is being released, blessings are being released. Uh, I also want to talk about Proverbs 18.21. It's a very familiar scripture which says, Life and death is in the power of the tongue. So uh, we have a choice. You know, there is a choice which is given to us. We could choose to speak words um, which are negative, words that are accusatory, words that are condemning, words that are hopeless. Or we can replace those words with faith-filled words, words that affirm, words that worship God, uh, words that um, which say amen to what uh, the word of God is saying. And, you know, it's our choice, but let's make the right choice, which is to speak words of life. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have given us the capacity, Lord, to speak forth powerful words that will bless us and others around us. So Lord, we pray for the strength and the grace to keep speaking words in alignment with your word. And Father, even as we do that, we thank you that Lord, our, our life will, will see the life of God flowing into it. We give you thanks and praise in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.